Tonight, KLB took an unusual step to try to expose one big expensive secret. We just filed a lawsuit against Albuquerque Public Schools. For months, the district has blocked us from accessing records connected to former Superintendent Winston Brooks. Brooks abruptly resigned last year after an internal investigation and got a fat check on your money to go away. For investigator Ryan Luby is live at APS headquarters to explain why we filed this lawsuit and why it was a pretty tough decision. Ryan. Well, Tom, we don't like to file lawsuits. No one does. But fact is, Winston Brooks got a $350,000 check to leave his office way up there and leave 10 months before his contract ended. The fact that he was embroiled in what the board said was a serious personnel matter is something you deserve to know and know what it was. And we're not the only ones putting up the fight. The man made headlines with one thing after another, questionable tweets, a fight with his wife that prompted a call to police. All of that came less than a year before Winston Brooks was the subject of a taxpayer-funded internal investigation, which quickly led to his resignation. Along with it, that $350,000 check and this agreement that everything behind it would remain a secret. But see, there's the problem. Any time that a school district decides to let go of its superintendent uh, and in the process pay its superintendent $350,000, then the public has a great interest in knowing why it happened. Greg Williams is one of the attorneys that wants APS to spill the beans. He's representing the Albuquerque Journal, which partnered with KOB on the lawsuit. The fundamental argument that APS is violating New Mexico's Public Records Act. APS has consistently claimed the Brooks investigation falls under attorney client privilege and is a personnel matter, thus, not a public record. Williams says the law indeed makes some records off limits on things like personnel opinions, but the lawsuit argues that the records connected to Brooks. Brooks's departure also contain facts. Uh, this is something that should be made public, and the law requires that it be made public. That's why it all had to come to this two media outlets suing a school district. Best case scenario, no, but that's all that's left. It's disappointing that APS has chosen to do this. Uh, we think APS owes a responsibility to the people of Albuquerque to explain why it makes decisions. Well, I contacted the folks here at APS tonight to seek a comment about this lawsuit, but the only response I got from a district spokesperson was simply no. Now, if you'd like to read the lawsuit in its entirety for yourself, it is posted on our website right now, KOB.com. We are live at APS headquarters. I'm Ryan Luby, KOB Eyewitness News 4.